welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here you can as well go down and start watching the basics of color grading so that you can understand whatever is happening here so today i want to explain um this particular look i created let me show you this particular look is what i want to explain how how i was able to achieve um the look so already i have all my nodes um labeled here already so we'll just go through um, them one by one and then i'll show you what i was able to do inside each particular node so the first node here is my exposure exposure so i will make this open i kind of stepped down the brightness of the image and the the bright side and the dark side i kept everything to sit in the middle it's not looking too bright then the next um, thing here i did was to boost my mid tone up to make the image bright to the level which i want which is this and then the next node here okay so how i did this sorry the first node i came to my hdr i brought out the light and the shadows a little then i also did um like i brought down the lights from my curves and then the second node here you can see from where the main image is sitting i took it up like i clicked there and i pushed it up a little and then the next node here is my contrast i i i gave the contrast like just 0 0.90 1 1.092 yeah that's what i did the only thing i did here was the contrast then here i gave the image a normal saturation which is saturation of 82 yeah i actually popped the saturation and then the next thing i did here was to give it a film saturation to make the color denser that was what i did i don't know why i have okay this is not supposed to be here yet so how i did this was um i right click on the node i came to my color space i selected hsv which stands for hue saturation and value then i took down the channel of hue and this channel of um, value and i left only the channel of saturation and then i came to my primary wheels and uh, my gain i pushed my gain to 1.21 and then the next node here is my blues i worked on the blues i used um, my my color wrapper yes because sometimes um i noticed that the hue versus hue sometimes breaks the image so i used my color wrapper to do that then i kind of stepped down the saturation using my hue versus saturation i also stepped down the saturation of red a little then here this parallel node i pushed orange into the image you can see i used my um, gamma for this you can see it here i pushed the gain to orange towards orange and then here i pushed it towards teal a little still using my gamma then this next node here is my glow node where i added the glow effects changed it to soft lights and my shine threshold took it back a little on my spread then i i let me see if i blended it yeah i blend um the glow so it won't be too much and then this next node here is my d band just to smoothen out my, my image i actually um, put the d band here the next node is the pop contrast is also an effect in um, da vinci that you can find just to pop my image so let me take it off and bring it back you can actually see the difference our image has uh, like more life to it let me get to where our images f has more yes so let me take it off and bring it back you can see the difference yes then down here is the node which i used to sharpen the image itself i used the blur to blur effect and i took our blow our radius to like 0 0.47 almost everybody uses 0 0.47 because we don't want to make the image look too thick then here i worked on my skin also a parallel um, a layer mixer not a parallel node i used my qualifier and like i picked her skin not everything precisely because of the highlights that are here but i was still able to work with the 
image i'll show you the end result don't worry and then here i worked on my background just a little change you actually won't really really see it but it's just a little change that um happened here and here is my vignette you can see that we have um some dark um shadows at the edges of the image i just i used the um window tool selected the circle and then i used the curves and i br brought down the curves a little and then there's an outside node for this vignette which i like boost the the curves i took it up a little so the middle of the image is bright while the edges are kind of dark and then here i popped the image you can see i kind of popped it then brought my shadows up a little trying to give it that film like kind of vibe and then here i settled down the saturation so that's why i wrote sd sat settle down the saturation in my curves i came to saturation versus saturation and then i brought it down a little and this is what we have you can see then this here is actually my cst the final the beginning base of our image here where i selected i was supposed to start from here because it's like we worked inside um our workflow and i selected uh, Sinion film log rec 709 709 because the image already came with a color and i just had to work with it like that and the next the last uh, second to the last node here is the lots which i used so let's let's go and get the lots it's a film lots um the last the last um lot in the film lots profile yes um rec 709 kodak 2383 d65 is the one i used and the last thing in the last thing here is actually the film grain which i use to give us this look and the first node we have here is actually my noise reduction you know it's not every time you need it if your image is good you can actually just go with it like that but sometimes i like using it because it helps me to clean cracks and other stuff so it's in the motion effect and let me let me zoom in so when i open the node you see what it does now it's a little change that you won't really get to see but trust me it goes a long way so this is everything in this particular um particular look if you have questions or you don't understand just drop a comment i will like make um more videos to explain i don't want this one to be too long so yeah this is it thank you and make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel like share and comment and also turn on the post notifications so you get notified anytime i drop um new videos on color grading um so thank you